Hey YouTubers, Ben again with Swift English. So today we're going to be taking a look at a writing task to academic discussion, um, random exercise, random question. And the focus here is on an open-ended style question. So what do you do if you get this kind of format uh, during the exam? So okay, so imagine you have uh, the professor asking this kind of question, what can motivate people to do more charitable work, right? Okay, so this is the question. You found it uh, after reading, you know, uh, the section that contains that information. And then you look at the right side of your piece of paper. You see what John has to say. So there will be a little blurb, a little paragraph. Uh, and John will elaborate on some kind of reason, you know, some kind of point or opinion related to religion or morality. And then when you look at Mary, she says something about like tax benefits, right? This is why she thinks, you know, uh, people are motivated to do charity, right? Charitable work. Anyway, so in an open-ended style um, format, basically they want you to come up with your own uh, opinion here, okay? Uh, preferably, it would be better if you don't go with what John or Mary had to say. They want something original here. So, I'm going to actually uh, use altruism uh, as our example here, okay? I'm going to show you how I'm going to develop this in just a second. So, here, I'm going to say, I'm going to actually type this, right? So, while John and Mary bring up some valid points about why people are pushed to do more charitable work. I think that uh, a lot of people uh, are involved in charity mainly uh, because of altruism. There. So now I'm going to go into my reasons. First of all, uh, many people um, try to help others out uh, because uh, according to research there is a part of the brain that becomes stimulated whenever uh, people are um, trying to support others. In fact, according to some re recent research, uh, the part of the brain that is associated with social bonding um, is what uh, lights up. As a result, uh, people who act in altruistic ways are more likely to feel happier and healthier whenever they try to help out others. Okay, there, there we go. Now, you're gonna go into that second reason, right? So here we could say something like, um, on top of that, uh, a lot of people are encouraged to get involved in charitable acts since um, they feel a positive energy. Uh, for instance, I remember uh, one time I decided to volunteer at a homeless shelter and help feed um, the needy. Uh, so here I could say something like, therefore, or I could even develop this further. I could say something like, um, at the time, I was uh, pouring soup for, uh, the, for the homeless in a nearby homeless shelter in my city. And then I could say something like, therefore... I felt uh, really different any time I was trying to help them. It felt like some kind of energy, 
some kind of positive or warm energy entered my body. This made me feel quite calm and relaxed. All right. And then, you know, you could conclude this. So to sum up, have a concluding phrase. Uh, and then what you could do here, there's a trick to add a complex sentence. You could use although, and then kind of restate what John and Mary actually originally had said, um, you know, in your own words, maybe. So you want to say something about the religion, uh, you know, argument to sum up, although uh, some people are moved to, um, what's our question, right? Do more charitable deeds because of uh, religious or moral reasons and others you want to see what Mary had to say do them for tax related purposes right and then you restate your own position in new words uh, I firmly believe that uh, lots of individuals um, contribute to charity out of altruism and now you're done right so that's it so you could see we have this kind of wild sentence and then here uh, I mentioned my opinion and then I went into that first reason right there using first of all and then I didn't have an example phrase here. I was just trying to kind of stress or emphasize the point I had mentioned in this reason sentence. So that's why I use in fact or, you know, as a matter of fact. Um, and if you wanted to use, you know, something like this, the only difference is that you would just boost your word count. So, you know, that, that's all. It might slow you down a little bit if you're not a fast typer, but, you know, you have to consider this. Here I had a result sentence, right? And the result was that they felt, you know, more healthier, more happier, right? More satisfied. Here I went to reason two. I introduced it using on top of that. Then I tried to exemplify it using, for example, for instance, to illustrate, you know, one of these kinds of phrases. And then um, I decided to further develop it. You can, or it's up to you. And the main reason is just to boost my word count. The more words, the better. So at the time, I use a time phrase here. Uh, and then here, I use therefore. It's like another result phrase. So, you know, this is the takeaway point. I felt really different anytime I was trying to help them. And then I kind of elaborated on that, you know, a little further. It felt like some kind of positive war or warm energy entered my body. This made me feel quite calm and relaxed. Here I had a little reaction kind of sentence. So sometimes um, if you think uh, there's a little bit of room to elaborate, maybe some of your points were a little bit broad, some of the details at least, you know, you could take it a little bit further, but you have to be mindful. You have to be aware of the amount of time you have left because you only get 10 minutes to t like, you know, read the directions, look at, uh, the professor's question, what the two students had to say, and type up your response. All that combined is just 10 minutes. So you really have to, you know, be familiar with your strengths and weaknesses when it comes to coming up with the ideas and typing your response all within that 10 minutes time. And then again, um, you could check your work or you could consider adding a conclusion and the advantage of adding a conclusion is it could really boost your word count. And here I use although, kind of like while, just to repeat, kind of reiterate that same information, simply just to boost my word count, you know? And it also gives me an opportunity to paraphrase some of the topic vocabulary here, right? And that's excellent for the vo vocab criteria, the vocab part of my score, right? So this is just something to consider. And when we look at this, let's come to uh, Google Word Counter. Okay. I have 245 words. So you may be able to achieve that. You may not. Um, it really just uh, depends on you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next